What up, Sailor Senji? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's unboxing video. Today I have something that is themed for you. I actually received a couple of packages from a reseller that was selling items from Universal Studios Japan, which is located in Osaka. So if you are currently in Japan and you are lucky enough to be in the Osaka area, USJ is located down there and they currently have this really cool event going on until September 30th, I believe is the date, that features Sailor Moon. It's a 4K event, so it's one of those really cool things where you can like hear things and smell things and feel things that are happening in this theater during this really amazing, huge, action-packed event. Uh, they allow you to purchase a wand, which can do special things inside of that theater and only in that theater. However, it can also like light up outside of there. And they're also selling a whole bunch of really cool stuff inside the theme park, as well as really interesting little limited edition items. Like there's a popcorn bucket, there's the little Luda P head that I have back there somewhere that I got off eBay, and there's a few other items. So I specifically want wanted a few different items from the store which is available down there in USJ and that is the only place that you can get them so you have to go to the store and buy them in person in USJ which means that if you're not in Japan you generally cannot find these unless you go to eBay and find them there. Luckily this reseller was not selling items for eBay prices so I immediately decided to purchase a few items from her and she sold them at a very very fair price so I was really excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these and I'm super excited to show you what I got. Okay, so my super sweet proxy seller in Japan sent a note with this. She said, hi Shannon, thank you for trusting me with your shopping. I hope everything arrives safely. Please let me know when you get this. Aw, thank you so much. So I did receive everything safely, which is wonderful. The first thing I'm going to open up is this USJ wand. All right, so this is the Cutie Universal Rod. So it's the Cutie Moon Rod, but in this case, they're calling it the CUNY Universal Rod. And up at the top, of course, you have the Universal Studios emblem and logo with the globe instead of the normal one, like the Proplica that I have. Where is that Proplica? There it is, over there. Um, on the front, there's just simply a picture of Sailor Moon. It says the name of it, and then Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan at the bottom. On the back is a whole bunch of direction about how to use the item. And then it also has a little flyer attached to it. And this basically says cutie universal rod precautions and at the bottom it says things like please take extra caution to keep your cutie universal rod from hitting others around you actions such as swinging hitting throwing etc are strictly prohibited I'm guessing they had to include this because people were doing that should a guest inflict injury or harm we assume new responsibility purchased in the park can be used in the theater uh, please limit use to children's six and over have it ready in hand and set to heart mode before the show begins. Keep your hand through the strap. Be considerate of the viewing experience for other guests. And that's about it. So you can use this inside the theater with that heart mode and the other mode works outside of there. I don't know if it comes with batteries. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I'll grab a couple of batteries so I can test it. Yeah, it says it requires two four batteries. I'm assuming that's like a double A battery or something like that. And then it also has some directional information on it. Luckily, the packaging is really easy to get into. I'm assuming that's because they sell it in the park for people to use in the park. So on the back, oh, cool. There's a little thingy to take out of the battery pack so you can actually turn it on. But heart mode is the one that does not work unless you're in the theater. And then the other mode, which is S mode, does work. And this one simply just changes colors. So you can see it changing colors right now. Oh my God, it's so cool. Look at all the different colors. So there are colors for all the different Sailor Senshi, of course. So you got green, yellow, pink, blue, red, green, yellow. Okay, and then it goes back through them. So it's just for the inner Senshi, of course. And it looks like it's in really, really nice condition. It looks like they took a lot of care into making it look very accurate to Sailor Moon. And I don't know, I think it's really cute. It's not as big as the Proplica, obviously, so it's not like the same size as the actual one from the anime and manga, but it is still a very fairly well nice size and it feels really durable so I'm excited about it. That's so cool. I like pink so I'm gonna leave it on pink. 
Yay, it matches my background. So here's the thing. Yes, heart mode does not work outside of the theater, but I am curious if it doesn't work because it's not receiving some kind of radio frequency or something. If it has to do with radio, I could probably figure out how to make this thing work outside of the theater. So the thing is, I have a ham license, a ham radio license, and one of the things that I'm really into is learning about radio frequencies and how to transmit data and stuff like that. So if I could figure out how to make this thing turn on, and if it does have to do with radio, I think I could make this happen. I just need to figure out how the insides work and I need to figure out what the heart mode does. So if I can get that information from somewhere, I'm totally gonna see if that heart mode can work. The next item that I received are these super cute slippers. So I bought these because my husband was joking around one day. He was like, oh my gosh, you're filling that second guest, that guest bedroom with so much Sailor Moon stuff. Eventually you're going to be walking around this house with Sailor Moon slippers on. And I was like, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. But I'm just gonna like secretly start wearing these and see if he notices. And if he does, that'll be really funny. But yeah, it's just kind of a stupid inside joke. But these are only available at Universal Studios Japan again and on the front they have typed in embroidery it says Sailor Moon on both of the feet. There's a Luna and a Crescent Moon and then there's a really cute little jewel as well as the Sailor Moon bows at the top. I have no clue if these are gonna fit my feet. They look extremely small. Oh okay well my feet are a little bit too big for them but they do fit so like if they were a half size up they would fit perfectly but they're not too small. Let me get back. Ah. And they look comfy. I just don't want to wear them all the time because they have the white fabric on the inside and I'm totally gonna dirty them up with my dirty feet so that is the thing to think about but yeah there's a little logo on the middle uh, they were 2800 yen which is a great price that's totally fair and there's a toy sticker on them as well all right so this next item I bought <laughs> is a little bit ridiculous it was 2300 yen but I don't care because I like to go to Disneyland and I really want to wear these at Disneyland this is basically a cute little headband with a bow at the top and the bow's got the Sailor Moon colors on it and it's got the cute little compact and it's got a bunch of little jewels all over the place and a little crescent moon on one of the little bow sides. So it's adorable. There's not much to say about it. There's a little logo for USJ sticking out of the side of it just like the ones that you get at Disneyland and it does have the same thing. There's a toy sticker on there and it does have the little price tag with the barcode etc. So it's really really cute and it looks like like this is really nicely made. I like the little jewels, the little pearl and the little jewel in the middle that hang down to. I think that's adorable. I don't know if this is going to fit my head, but I'm going to try it. So, yep. This is me. This is me, guys. Welcome to my life where I wear headbands. I don't know. I feel really cool right now, so I'm just going to leave it on. So the next item on my list is a towel. Who could have guessed? All right, so according to the packaging for this towel, it is 34 by 100 centimeters. It says UV on there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a UV blocking towel or why it says UV. I don't know. Who can read kanji? Tell me what that says. And it also calls itself a long face towel. So this is a long face towel that happens to be very long. That's a really long towel. So from one side to the other, we have Sailor Jupiter, there's Mars, Moon is in the center, of course. Then we have Mercury and Venus. And it feels like, oh yeah, there's really nice stitching on both ends of it, including this pretty gold ribbon. It says Universal Studios Japan on it. In the middle with Sailor Moon, she has an embroidered uh, jewel in the middle of her tiara, so that's cool. And then the other end says Sailor Moon, and then it has the same kind of stitching. It's a really, really pretty towel. Um, I'm wondering if I can display this somewhere. I really want to display it somewhere because they did a really great job with the art on it. So it's very pretty. Oh, and then at the top, it's also embroidered. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan, of course. So it's really pretty. I love this towel so much. I'm really happy that I decided to opt in and purchase it because it was well worth it. Let me see if the price is on here anywhere for you. Here we go. So it is a Kodansha item. There's a Kodansha sticker on the back of it and then right next to it is the barcode for USJ and it's 1800 yen. And by the way, if you were wondering how much the Cutie Universal Rod cost, that was 2900 yen for that one. 
Alrighty, so my last two items are items that were on pretty much everybody's wish list, including my own. I really wanted the Sailor Moon one, but then I saw this one in person and I was like, I gotta have that one too because it's just so beautiful. It's gorgeous. So these are 4,500 yen and 4,800 yen. Both of these are Sailor Moon uh, jewelry holders. So you can hang things off of the top little bit or you can loop them around the neck part of these, but they're, they basically feature uh, Sailor Moon's Sailor Scout uniform. And then there's also the Princess Serenity uniform as well. So her Princess Serenity's dress. These look like they got flipped around while they were in transit to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open these because I open everything. I like ripping out the packaging. Uh, they do have the toy stickers on the back too, which is great. So you know that it's a legitimate item. And then if I open this, wow, these are really nicely made. Oh, and that's cute. There's a bunch of little poofing material on the bottom of it too to keep the skirt nice and big. So this one again features the scout uniform. It's really pretty and iridescent material for the blue parts like the skirt and the sailor neck part of the uniform. The bow on the front is made out of pretty red fabric and then it has a hard uh, symbol for the compact on the front and then there is also a hard crescent moon on the neck part. Uh, the bow on the back is the same material as the front one and then it's a plastic. No, actually that sounds like metal. Uh, maybe it is plastic. It's hard to tell. It's metal. Yeah, so it's a, it's a metal jewelry holder, which is really great. The top features some stars, and then there's a crescent moon at the top too, and then the bottom has three little feet so it can stand evenly no matter where you put it. Okay, and this one I'm gonna fix a bit because it was in the packaging, so it did get squashed a little bit. There we go, girlfriend. Gotta make your dress look good. All right, so this one is the Princess Serenity jewelry stand. Again, at the top, it's a metal, it feels like a metal a jewelry stand, and then it features the four stars as well as the crescent moon at the top. The actual dress itself is made out of tulle, and it also feels like a satin fabric underneath that, and then it has some extra like fish netting style underneath that to keep it kind of poofy. Uh, the bottom has the same three feet as the Sailor Moon uniform one, and the front of this features rhinestones all over the dress as well as the top around the bust. Uh, they do have a couple of rose shape uh, shoulder pads which is really cute and then the back has a really pretty iridescent bow. This bow is kind of a, like a pearlescent type of fabric and it's so so pretty. It's really poofy too as you can tell here and it's long so this whole thing is the bow right here coming out on both sides so it's it's very dressy it's very stylish and um i was honestly thinking about skipping this one because in the packaging it just did not look that great but you get it outside of the packaging and it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm really excited to put that in my collection okay so that was everything from my usj haul i absolutely adored everything i know i probably look super silly right now but i really like this bow and i can't wait to wear it to disneyland hopefully this summer if i do i'll totally post selfies on my Instagram page because I'm that kind of person. I like Starbucks and I like Instagram, so what can I say? But if you enjoyed this and you want to see more USJ hauls from me, definitely let me know. If there's anything from USJ that you want me to get a hold of to do a review, let me know as well in the comments because I can still totally buy things from there until September 30th as long as they are available. One item that I didn't get my hands on because it was sold out when I asked about all these products from my proxy shipper was the popcorn bucket. So hopefully I can reach back out to her and get that popcorn bucket in the future. But until next time, you can find all the pricing below. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this and like my videos too if you want to see more. And don't forget when I hit 500, I'm totally going to do a giveaway. So I've already been collecting a bunch of items for my big 500 subscriber giveaway. So definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to check out all the other amazing Sailor Moon reviewers on YouTube as well because there's plenty of them and I totally look up to them. They have amazing channels and amazing collections. So until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Johnny.